Welcome to the International Business Law Academy. My name is Torin, and uh, I would like to introduce to my presentation on the subject of international contract. Today, topic will be formation of the contract. First, we should discuss one of the case studies to understand about the rights and obligation of contract's parties. Why they breach the contract? That is in the case of Sobic with International Stable and Machine Co. Facts. Sobic was engaged in the business of growing packaging and shipping vegetables. International Stable and Machine Co. was a distributor of vegetable packaging equipment and has supplied Sobic with several weight packages that weighted onion on a mechanical scale and automatically packaged in availability of more efficiency machine, Sobic agreed to ask them to re outfit one of the machines on a trial base so that he could evaluate its performance before deciding whether to purchase one. Sobek vs. International Staple and Machine Co. Facts Sobek was engaged in the business of growing packaging and shipping vegetables. Uh, International Staple and Machine Co was a distributor of vegetable packaging equipment and supplied Sobek with several weight packager that weighted onion on mechanical scale that automatically packaged them. After discovering the availability of more efficiency machine, Sobek agreed to ISM to re one of its machines on a trial base so that he could evaluate its performance before whether to decide to purchase one. At the time, ISM informed Sobek that the machine was new and experimental. Although he experienced numerous problems with the conversion machine, Sobek still decided to buy one of the new weight packages from ISM. He also decided to buy the conversion machine after several years of difficulties with both machines. Sobek has stopped making the payment, alleging ISM has breached the implied warranties and mechanability and fitnesses for a particular purpose. Issue Did ISM the implied warranties of mechanability and fitnesses breach? Uh, guys, would you like to discuss? Um, for me, I think no. ISM is entitled to the unpaid purchase price for the new weight packer and the re outfitted conversion machine. Yeah, I think our Soviet extensive use an actual knowledge of the problem before purchase uh, um, precluded any implied warranties as to the performance of the conversion machines of any machines of identical design. Yeah. Okay. Kind of what do you think? Uh, I completely agree with Ms. Chi. Um, Sobic was aware of the experimental nature of, and potential problem with the machine at the time he decided to purchase them. So therefore, he had been using such machines on trial basis for several months. I think I think that was the agreement between ISM uh, and Sobit. So he decided about in line warranty of business uh, for a um, particular purpose. Uh, would you like to add anything else? Uh, I think uh, warranty of fitness is very important in this case, where although ISM informed Sobit that the machine was new and experimental, and on top of that, Sobich experienced numerous problems with the conversion machine. Still, Sobich decided to buy one of the new weight packers from ISM. Hmm, yeah, and I understand that when a seller uses a model when offering a buyer to make a purchase, the seller is expressing um, warranting that the goods she delivers will be the same. In this case, uh, I understand that Sobich agreed to have ISM re-outfitted one of the machines on a trial basis. So he could evaluate the performance before deciding whether not to buy it. Uh, thank you all for your opinion. For theory, th in this case, I suggest that we should review it and look at the formation of the contract, such as acceptance, consideration, and warranty provision. Ruby, would you like to explain? Yes, for um, the acceptance, an offer and, ex and an acceptance would form an agreement that would be written down into a contract. Acceptance occurs when an offeree agrees to be mutually bound to the terms of the contract. It should be noted that an offeree's silence, maybe, is an acceptance. Generally, acceptance follows the mirror image rule, which means that when we accept an agreement, we offer, 
which means that when we accept an agreement, we're doing so based on the exact terms in the or original contract or offer. Yeah, yeah like Ms. Uh, Ruby accepted the materials of the forms, mostly consist of follow the mirror image rule when both parties are merchants, the addition term become part of the contract unless the offer made clear no such proposal could be included. The addition term would uh, material after the contract or the offer no objects to their inclusions within a reasonable time. So the considerations when approaching a contract um, has to have enforceability of agreements. So since the CISG encompass that contracts for the sales of goods, consideration generally exists automatically because the parties are each paying a price. So for example, the sellers are delivering goods and the buyers are paying money. Consideration is the benefit that each party gets or expects to get from the contractual deal. Um, and in contract modifications, the UCC does not require that new consideration be paid in exchange for the change of contract as long as it is in good faith and reasonable. Um, under the CISG, Contracts may be modified or terminated by the agreement of the parties. However, if the original contract was in written, the CSG generally enforces only written modification. Now moving on into the, con uh, the content of the contracts itself, there are warranty provisions. So what are they? The first is express warranties. Under CISG, sellers are required to deliver goods of quantity, quality, description called for in the contract. The goods also must be packaged in the manner required by the contract. When a seller uses samples or models to offer a buyer to make a purchase, she or he is expressly warranting that the goods she, do, she or he delivers will be the same. Right. So another part of warranty provisions is implied warranty. So when both DISG and UCC have an implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose, so for instance, uh, if a buyer asks a computer company to supply a software for the use of his computer system, uh, the seller will be implementing promises that the software is compatible with the buyer's system. Uh, thank you, you all so much for your answer. And the discussion was great. Uh, I would like to review in the theory of the formation of the contract, uh, the decision of this case uh, between Sobek versus International Staple and Machine Co. Uh, I say no, ISM has entitled to unpaid purchase price for the new weight packages and the re of uh, conversion machine, uh, Sobek was aware of the experimental nature and the potential problems has rises with the machine at the time but he still decided to purchase them. Uh, he has been use the, using the machine for a trial base of uh, several months as well. Uh, Sobek extensive use and actual knowledge of the problem before purchasing uh, precluded any implied warranties as to the performance of the conversion machine of any machine of an identical design. Thank you, you all. Uh, we would like to thank you so much for this program of the International Business Law of Academy. Mm. Thank you, Torin. Your presentation is very good. And uh, I think uh, formation of the contract is always the difficult subject. Uh, uh, your presentation and also discussion of your friend make clear the formation of the subject. Thank you.